Session musician was amazing because I was doing Stephen Nice in the sessions in the day. One of most, one of my most favorite times was with uh, Michael Jackson. When I, you know, we did the Jacksons and stuff. We did some stuff, man, uh, that was great. And he was such a great, talented guy. A lot of people don't know how really talented he was. They see him dance, they see him sing, but being creative he was incredible. Just like the song we're doing tonight with all you bass players, but me. Well, we go, uh, we're doing Heartbreak Hotel. And when we first did it, he came up and said, Nate, I want something like. <laughs> <laughs> he had the rhythm mostly, not all the notes. So we put the notes together. And then he told, told uh, Paul Jackson, he made a tape of the guitar solo for Paul to learn. And that, that record is very incredibly complicated. And he did all this stuff. He, 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 he was one of the Besides Steve, you know, besides Steve, yeah, that's one of the great parts. Until the rainbow from the sun and up the sky, until the ocean covers every mountain high. You know, you, you say you take a bass later. What sort of things did you learn or practice? You learn from records and I, other people. I, I, I taught myself from records, records in the uh, in the basement. You know, I take a weekend. I was going to school to be an accountant, which I'm glad I didn't because I'd have been postal and you would have read about me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, and I was working at Ford's for a while, and then one day, same year I got hired by Steve. One day it was like 100 degrees, 100 something degrees, and I worked in the foundry, so it was like 120 in the foundry. I just walked out. I said, God, it's got to be something better than this. James Jameson and just learning from the record by ear. Oh yeah, I love James Jameson, everything. Like I said, the guy uh, Lucky Green. I was listening to everything that came on the record on the radio. On the radio, and um, I would buy the records and because you know I was working, so uh, I buy the records and learn from there. And as a you know, as any advice as a bass player, you were talking earlier about sort of playing simple and playing busy and trying to find. Do you mind talking about that? Yeah, one, one thing I noticed, uh, I used the example of uh, Jameson uh, uh, in my last uh, master class over at um, the bass, bass show. I played um, My Girl, which was one of the simplest songs ever. Everybody think that the bass go boom, 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 but it doesn't. It started on the beginning like that, and the rest of it go boom, 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 boom. That, I mean, simple, and it made a number one hit. So what a bass player to me has to learn is what fit what song best, whether it should be complex or simple, or the middle round. guys are studying with us and we do a lot of different subjects you know we do technique we do theory we do styles we do performance and then music technology right. and industry and what would you think out of those things they should really focus on in today's uh, the technology now because it is a changing world find your own technique that makes you play fluently vocally practice study practice do your skills all the time even when you sleep in the bathroom or take a shower or whatever to do your skills. In other words, and, and, and one thing, the other thing is dedication. You gotta have dedication. 
You got an ego, so have the dedication to finish it. That's what I'm saying. We have a lot of people that are doing our own music, a lot of our guys, you know, original artists and they're trying to get their things out there. Any advice for people trying to start out in the music business? Well, you start out in music, you, you, you just got to be persistent. You got to be very persistent, persistent about getting your stuff heard by different people. But you know, you got chances are one person out of all 50 will like it. You know what I mean? So you got to find that one person. And, and never get discouraged about uh, people turning you down because the same person turned you down but the next person might pick you up, you know? That's the whole thing. Yeah.